welcome back to my channel. Got a new look this week, what do you think? It's only my favourite holiday of the year, Halloween! And I'm just so excited because I love dressing up. And this time I decided to go for, I guess you could think of me as Margot Robbie's twin sister in Suicide Squad. The one that didn't quite make the cast, but is destined for bigger, better things like YouTube and makeup tutorials, right? <laughs> Anyway, I really like this look because it's super simple to create, doesn't take very long and it's got my favourite features like dark dramatic eyes, a red lip and then this like kind of creepy little mouth. I like to look cute but creepy, if you kind of get what I mean. I picked up this wig and the contacts today, if you thought they were mine, sorry to disappoint. Um, but yeah, really easy to create and I'm going to show you how to do it. For my base, I'm going to use this Suku primer which it really gives an illuminated appearance to the skin. I'm going to leave all the links to the products I use below in the description. Then I'm going to pop on this creme de la mer lip balm to soften my lips. On to eyebrows. I'm using this eyebrow powder from Collection in colour brunette and I'm just going to use it to fill in any gaps in my eyebrows and give a really beautiful shape. I apply this colourless mascara by Collection onto my eyebrows because it acts as a gel and also helps keep my eyebrows in place. Then I reapply the powder to the gel to give this kind of painted on appearance. Now onto my eyes. I'm going to use this Black Track Fluid Line by MAC. This part really looks messy, but it's going to be all smoothed out very shortly. It's best to keep blending before it dries for a more even appearance. And once it dries, it gives a really dramatic look to the eyes. I'm just going to set this Black Track using this grey eyeshadow by MAC in colour print. I like to build this colour up gradually to give a really intense colour. Then using this Coal Eyeliner by MAC, I'm going to line the tops of my eyelids. I prefer to use a pencil as opposed to a liquid liner because I really like that soft line. I also line underneath the lash line and fill in any gaps along the waterline. This Coal Eyeliner is one of my favourites because it's really soft. Using this colour called Kingdom, I'm just going to extend the black shadow with this soft brown colour because I feel like it gives a really wide-eyed appearance but without it looking too heavy. Using this gorgeous eyeshadow in colour Passionate by MAC, I'm going to go over and above the top of the grey eyeshadow, blending it out. Again, you can gradually build this up for a more intense colour. For a sheen on the eyes, I'm going to use this lipstick in colour Deep Rooted. I'm going to give myself a very soft winged eyeline effect with the lipstick. Then I like to dab on top of the eyelid, as well as bringing it down by the lower lash line. I'm highlighting under my brows with this colour Royal Flush, and I'm just going to use my finger for this part. This is a new favourite of mine, this Guerlain Mascara, because I find the plastic wand makes it so easy to apply. I really want to make sure that my own lashes are like jet black, so that they match the same colour as the false lashes that I'm going to put on next. I like to let the glue dry for 20 seconds or so, because I find it so much easier to apply the lashes when the glue is a bit more sticky. And I'm just going to go back in with my mascara to seal my own lashes with the false ones. This Suku foundation is actually slightly lighter than my normal colour, but I think for this look it's going to work well. Oops, I just got some on my hair. Oh well. Then I blend this in using my beauty blender. I then set my foundation using this Givenchy loose powder, which gives a really matte but also radiant appearance to the skin. Now onto contouring. Gotta get those cheekbones popping. <laughs> I'm going to start off with my usual shade in colour medium and blend this out using my beauty blender. Then I'm going to build up my contour by using this darker shade and it will give a really defined look. And again, I'm just going to blend this out using my beauty blender. Now onto highlighter. I like to use this highlighter stick just across my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow and just below my bottom lip. I'm just going to lightly conceal a few spots and blemishes using this collection concealer in Colour Fair. And then I'm just going to blend that out. I'm also going to apply some foundation across my lips as I really want to mask out my natural lip colour and that will make the next steps a bit easier. Now onto the mouth. I'm going to use the same black coal liner that I used earlier and just extend a line from the corner of my lip towards my ear. Then I use a white eyeliner to draw in the teeth. I want to show the roots of the teeth so I'm making them long. Then I'm just going to continue drawing on the rest of the teeth. You can really draw in as many as you want, but I'm going to go up until I'm in line with the outer edge of my eye. To get a more whitened tooth, I'm just going to go over these teeth with some white eyeshadow, and I'm using this one from MAC in colour Gesso. 
Then I'm going to go in and draw around the teeth with my coal eyeliner, but the best advice is to build up the black colour slowly. It's easier to add than take away. I had to redo this myself until I learned. I then shade in around each tooth to create different shapes for each one. I'm jumping around here a bit, but I want to let the lips dry for a moment, so I'm going to go back to the eyes to add some texture. I'm using this white lipstick in colour frosting to line the tear duct. I then went in with my reflex glitter and put this on top of the lipstick so that it sticks and it gives this gorgeous purple sparkle in the corner of the eyes. I want to make the white teeth really stand out so I'm going to go back in using the same lipstick and go over the teeth. Oh and yeah, using a brush makes it a lot easier. I also want the black to stand out so I'm going to go over this and shade in the corners around the teeth and the gums and also along my lips. Now to add some texture to the lips. I'm going to use this glitter from MAC and I'm just going to apply it to the first four teeth and it's going to stick quite easily because I've already got the lipstick on underneath. Saving the best part to last, the red lip! I'm going to create the full shape of the lip using this matte liquid lip colour in colour Dance With Me. Once the matte liquid lip colour <laughs> the mouthful, is dry, I'm then going to go into contouring the lip using this coal liner. Once I have the outline of the lips, I'm just going to use this little brush to blend in the edges and give a really 3D effect. For the centre of the lips, I'm using this really bright red shade in colour Lady Danger. Then I'm just going to clean up the edges using my beauty blender and some concealer. And that is good! Now all I need is some contacts and a wig. Okay, okay, no more of the dance moves, I'll save you. I'm allowed to dance how I want to dance because Margot Robbie's my sister, okay? <laughs> okay? I'm sorry about the embarrassing dancing. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Um, also, press the subscribe button for weekly videos because I got new stuff coming each week. <laughs> and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Actually, Marcus' sister would go something like this. <laughs> Bye. London Fashion Week is a very busy time, but this is a little bit different this time because Mac have invited me backstage to all of the shows they're doing. So, yeah, my schedule's pretty crazy. Hi guys. Let's let the madness begin. This is the lovely Tatiana. Hello. You like it? Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Backstage at Annie Hit Mark. This is so epic. I have to make it to another show in time. Sitting up front because the lead doesn't extend to the back. And obviously the good company. 